Lab Guy here. Today we're going to look at the 1957 Hickok 760 video scanner. This is a special kind of television camera that produced a test signal which was used by television repairmen in their repair shops in the 50s and 60s. It's all vacuum tubes, draws a lot of power, weighs 40 pounds. The CRT is used to scan transparent slides. The slide is placed against the face of the CRT and a blank scanning raster is put on the phosphor. This passes through the slide and is picked up by a photomultiplier tube. There are two configurations of this. One is called the flying spot scanner for scanning transparent material and the other is the flying spot camera for scanning solid objects. John Logie Baird used the this latter technique in his television experiments. Here's the actual output of the video scanner. The little bleached out spot above the center target is actually rubbed off of the slide. It's not a problem with the scanner. We'll look at the slide in a moment. This is the actual slide from the scanner. I'm holding it up against the uh, back of the manual so that you can see it. It's well used. This is my favorite slide of the bunch. This was probably written on the slide back in, let's say, 1960. Anywhere from, I don't know. Certainly used in the 1960s. Pretty cool. The service guy would put a television in the window and stick this slide in the scanner. And then you could know that he would be back at 2.45. Pretty gnarly. This is what the unit looks like today at the end of 2017. This model, this particular unit is in excellent cosmetic condition and as you've seen is fully operational. Let's take a closer look at some of the other parts of it. This is the CRT that scans the slide. Here we see the CRT scanning the test pattern slide with ultraviolet light. The ultraviolet light passes through the slide and is picked up by the photomultiplier tube. The chassis is well organized. There's a video output and RF output on channels 2 through 6 and adjustments for both video amplitude and sync amplitude. Here's another close-up look at that scanned slide again. Remarkable that it works after all these years. Here is the all vacuum tube sink generator. The crystal is in the upper left corner and the four big black blocks are transformers used by the oscillators to divide the crystal frequency down to sink frequencies and pulses that appear in the video as this unit has a built-in crosshatch generator. This is the actual video output from the scanner. Notice the hump shape of the video. This is telling me that the photomultiplier tube is not seeing the light evenly from all points on the face of the CRT and it's uh, actually shading off to the sides. But it's okay. It produces a good picture. If we take a look at the block diagram, we can see the sync generating system on the left and the scanning system on the right. The video output path is mostly across the top. But you can study that at your leisure. I provide it here for your convenience. Now let's look at the schematic. I provide the schematic here for the pathologically curious of you out there. 
The service manual for the Hickok 760 video scanner is available on eBay in paper form for only $10. Go ahead and look that up. This concludes our look at the Hickok Model 760 video scanner. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And if you have anything to say, leave a comment below.